The Stars will be out in Botno tonight as the Botno High girls basketball team opens up a doubleheader of hoops on the Beck Sports Network. The Braves will take the court later tonight, but it's ladies first as the 1-1 one one Stars host the 2-1 and one Our Redeemers Knights. Settle in as Coppinger, Tally, Arts, Page, and the rest of the heroines of the hardwood take to the court shortly for another round of this Region 6 rivalry. A pair of powerful post duos are put on display tonight in Harvey. The Beck Sports Network is ready to go down low for a dynamic District 7 boys basketball matchup as the 7-7 Carrington Cardinals and the 7-8 Harvey Wells County Hornets let the big boys loose next here at the Hornets Nest. A stone's throw from the Canadian border, folks are getting fed and filing in to the Walhalla Community Hall to see the defending state champs take on the hometown squad. Tonight on the Beck Sports Network, the 4-0 North Star Bearcats take on the 2-2 North Border Eagles. Grab your grub and your seat. It's boys basketball live on the Beck Sports Network. Welcome basketball fans inside the Jamestown Civic Center as Region 3 Boys Basketball is on the air here on the Beck Sports Network, courtesy of Beck Communications and Dickey Rule Networks. It's the Region 3 semifinals, a doubleheader of hoops here on the Beck Sports Network, beginning with the 15-7 and 7 Linton HMB Lions taking on the 22-0 Lamore Lobos. We begin with the BNC Bank pregame show. BNC Bank delivering financial solutions business people demand. John Ed and Jordan Hassler with you here this evening from inside the Civic Center. Our first ever broadcast from inside the Jamestown Civic Center here on the Beck Sports Network. And we've got a good one to open tonight. A couple of seasons with great storylines. First of all, for Linton HMB. Well, the plot twist came with the return of Tanner Purinton from a football injury in the fall. His return has led to a story of resurrection for the Linton HMB Lions. They won 11 straight games once he returned, and they've worked their way into these Region 3 semifinals by getting a quarterfinal win. It ended up being a big win, Jordan, 70-47 to over PBK last night. Cole Edwards into the front court. Passes to the right, Erickson. Now into the corner. The three. Shot. Good. <laughs> Trying to drive and answer back. Leaves it out to the top. Edwards puts it up from 18 on the move. That rattles in. Little stop and pop by Cole Edwards. Given to the right side control by Brock Robbins. His pass knocked away, stolen by Pritchard. He's off to the races, goes up with the lefty layup. It is good. Back up to the top for Steiger. Now into Robbins, makes a move, reverse layup, up and in. Langdon swings the ball over to the left side, bounces it in towards the paint, and a big shot block from behind. Brock Robbins swatting that ball away. Ladone trying to hustle before the press gets set up. Drives in, bounces it off. Mock for two. Good. A dozen for Mock here in the first half, and she's got her team within five. Wallstrom passing it off. Stolen away. Conway on the run. Goes to the hoop. Puts it up and in. Vogel again on the perimeter. Puts up a three. The shot. Good. Dribbles into the front court. Bounces it off. This shot put up and in. Peterson with the feed. Reimers with the finish. Control. On the run, throw it ahead to Hanson. He finishes in transition off the feed from Nathan Elhart. Berg hands it into Deagle. He's got to work quick. Deagle to the top of the key. The shot on the run. Good for Bo Deagle. His third three-pointer of the quarter wraps up the first half and gives his team a 29-17 lead as they head to the locker room here in Edgeley. Robin Weber fakes, kicks to the corner. Flyberg for three. Yes! Weiberg off a Larson screen. Tries to give it back to her on the pick and roll. Larson rolls herself right into another bucket. She's got eight points. Dylan Gillette drives the lane. Gets the shot off. He finishes, and the foul is called. Run, skips a pass inside. Shot blocked by Ethan Haley. With possession. They've already won an overtime game this season. Give it to the cutter. Mason Haley lays it up with the left hand. This ball left to Weigel in the corner. She's been busy. Works the middle. Gets under the basket and flips it up and in. Weigel out of the corner for three. Good. Kendra Weigel, her third three-pointer of the game. Beckley has it a long ways out. This pass tipped. And Jengula gives chase. Saves it. Right to Dewald To the hoop. And she finishes. Morgan Thomas to Beckley in the high post. Leave it back. Carlson for three. Good. Four seconds left. Carlson gets into the lane, launches from the free throw line, knocks it down, and we go to the fourth quarter all tied up. 47-47 between the Rebels and Imperials here in Napoleon. Dewald, who's been shooting threes, finally gets inside all the way to the basket, and Dewald able to finish on the move. Getter County needs a quick shot from half court. Here's Nicholson launching it up. It's good! Now feed inside. Carlson off to Shockman. Nice feed and finish. 
Shockman getting the score after the handoff from Tanner Carlson. Right side, Michael Jacobson drives on his man, gets to the hoop, reverse layup. Michael Jacobson on the finish. In the corner, Kramer back to Newsma, going baseline to the basket, puts it up and in. On the offensive end here in the fourth, Fettig for three. Good! Trent Fettig on the make, one point ball game. This buck played towards the front shot on. Hagen makes the save and covers up. What a play by Hagen after a point blank shot inside the crease. Puck played in, only 10 seconds remaining. To this shot, whiffed on, ends up in the slot. Still an opportunity. Watford City shot. Goal! Watford City on the score with less than five seconds to play in period number one, and they regain the lead. It's two to one on their home ice over Crosby. The goal coming from Brandon Taylor. Oilers want to keep it in. Oilers haven't had nearly the success on the power play. Here's a shot on and a goal. Brandon Taylor does it again, his second goal of the game, and the top line has scored four against Lance Knutson tonight here in Watford City. Watford City gathers it back, centering pass, shot on, goal! Ted Ramage, the freshman on the score with a quick wrister that beats Agnes on his glove side. Puck won back by Crosby, great centering pass, shot, top shelf and a goal! The score for Crosby's TJ McMinn, and all of a sudden, two goals coming within 21 seconds of each other create a 2-0 lead for the Crosby Comets. Now we head the other direction, shot put on, goal! The score by John Dunn of the Watford City Oilers. Silvaria gets around two men, Silvaria lights the lamp, the score by P.J. Silvaria. Now puck put on, shot, rebound, goal! T.J. McMahon with his second of the day. Dump it in long, played off the back wall, hard shot, a score, T.J. McMahon, the hat trick for McMahon.